show every Saturday. Subscribe to JW Outdoors. We're at the Garden of Eden in Lucas, Kansas. Lucas, Kansas. Garden of Eden, which is a folk art place um, created by G.S. Dinsmore. This way, Wyatt. Nineteen oh seven cabin home. Well look here. The Indian sculpture with his arrows in his back. It's like a bird lives in this one. Oh this one's cool. It's a guy shooting a rifle. Guy with the hoe. National Register of Historic Places. Oh, well, this one's cool. Is dead. Ooh. I don't know what's happened to this guy. Yeah, he's been. Looks like he's been killed by a. Uh, <laughs> some kind of animal. <laughs> and the lady. Uh, angel up above. The Garden of Eden. Looks like a sheep or something up there and some ducks. Oh, yeah, you like this, sign, this sign says to enter here. Do not enter here. Here, let's go out here where we can see. Remember here. Across the street. It's cool here. Oh, look up there. Look, it's birds with three different heads. See that? It's birds with like serpent necks and heads I like this guy with this sword up here see this yeah. American flag that looks cool this way boys what's going on here Shed. Banker, preacher, labor, lawyer, doctor. Oh, wow. That's some kind of political statement there. What's in there, Bob? Is this allowed to be open? Open it up. Oh, shit. oh no, you're not allowed to open it. <laughs> wonder what he used to have in here. Yep. Look at that. Rats. Where's that hole go to? Um, uh, uh, it goes to the other one. It's like snakes. Hobby turtles. Yeah. Who doesn't live in a <laughs> But I would say. What used to live in there? Cats. This is my badger, owl, and pigeon roost. Eight foot square. The badger pen goes down five feet in the ground with concrete floor all over the bottom. Four feet above the ground is the cement floor for the monkey faced owl. On the roof is a cement pigeon roost with 28 pigeon roosts. The cages to the side, this is a coyote and eagle roost, 10 feet square. The wall goes down to 2 feet of concrete and a coyote den that goes down 3 feet for coyote to sleep in. The old eagle above the coyote, over 300 running feet of concrete walks, 
from three to six foot wide extend through the ground. Visitors do not have to step on ground to see everything. Okay. Where's the bird at? Interesting. Where's the bird at? Dude, this, oh my gosh, look at that. Ew. What's here, Mom? What's here? Talks about the Garden of Eden. All the news articles. This, is this the guy here? Yep, the legacy of Samuel Perry Dinsmore. There's the guy who made this. Samuel? Yep, he was in the United States Air Force. Cement wash house. This is what he used to. Look, these are the tools to use to build the home and garden. That's cool. He, he did must did all the cement his, cement himself. I like these things he built to plant flowers in. Those are cool. Yeah. Tornado siren here in Lucas, Kansas. Luckily, it was just a test of what happens. That's just that they test it every day at noon, guys. You hear that? They test the tornado siren every day at noon. If you would hear that any time other than noon, you would be seeking shelter. It was very loud. It was pretty cool. I wish I would have got it on, on video. Oh, my. Are you slapping his cheeks? <laughs> That's a girl. His own concrete. Does name up there. Oh, there, I never even noticed, Mom. That's a big version of it. Yeah. Wow. Those flower beds, or well, flower towers, are really cool. We're taking the tour inside now. Trim up there. Trim picture frames. Mr. Dinsmore died in this room on July 21st, 1932. Okay. Very small bedroom. Look at the t-shirts for the place down the road. May the flush be with you. Ten years of bowl pizza. It's a waste that makes people poor. Basement first. Basement first. Basement first. Man says. Foods. Oh wow, look at this room. And the door. Look at the detail on the door. Yeah. It also serves as a storm cellar against tornadoes. I haven't read it because, yet. Um, he 
to me, from back then, looked very wealthy. The kitchen. Cold room, now we use for storage. Oh wow, look at that old copper. Copper clan. With the old phone. Dining room. The old radio. Table. Wardrobe made by Mr. Dinsmore. Oh my gosh, this guy was jack of all trades. That's what I was thinking. Mr. Dinsmore was a populist. That was his his uh, political thinking. The woodwork is really nice. He did it all. The bill of the woodwork. I like the building in the lantern here. Obviously he didn't have a lectern. Bill Perry. Dismore was born in Coolville, Ohio, March 8, 1843. He served in the Civil War as a nurse in the side of the North. He moved to Grafton, Illinois, married his first wife. He taught farm and taught school. And then they moved to Lucas, Kansas, 1888. Started building this home. He used 2,273 sacks of concrete, 113 tons of concrete. Here's, oh, it's hot up here. The master bath. I wonder when they put the commode in. <laughs> And it appears to be a working commode because there's toilet paper behind the door. The old record player. The probably spare bedroom. Or her room. This is her room, wasn't it? The pictures in there. This was maybe his room. Yeah. This was his room. That was her room. And this is like a setting area. This looks like the sofa or the love seat. Mana says this is the chase that Rose laid on in the Titanic when Jack did her portrait. Here's to be some kind of old linoleum. different pattern in her room. He had the same patterns out here. Liam where he's been mummified and you can see his face. He had studied mummification and he had it all written out for the mortician on how to do it. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. huh. This guy's like a genius. He really was. He just didn't get the credit he deserved in his day because most of the town thought he was crazy. They didn't understand why he was doing all of this.
But uh, tourism is our biggest industry in Lucas, and it, it is the garden of Eden that brings people to town, so we're very fortunate that we have it. Um, we're the grassroots art capital of Kansas, um, but it all started with this one, <coughs> and this is one of the top three grassroots art sites in the world. Um, that is an original picture that he made. The frame is not, but the picture is. It's a double exposure of him looking at himself in his cup. Wow. Wow. I said I was thinking it was his son. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the bell to be notified when we post a new video. Like and follow us on Facebook at 3W Outdoors.